you know, we, we met because of illness and now for the wedding to be canceled because of illness, it sort of has made us realize that our health is the most important thing and being together is the most important thing. My first name is Elliot, last name is San. And my name is Emily Mai. We met in the hospital. Uh, I was a cancer patient, I was a, a leukemia patient, and I was uh, transferring my care. At the time I was living in Los Angeles and I was going back to uh, Chicago because I was gonna, I was actually moving home with my parents to continue treatment because we, we weren't exactly sure what was gonna happen and um, I was going to get this thing called a stem cell transplant to hopefully uh, cure the leukemia, and that was going to be done at a hospital in Chicago, in Northwestern. I actually met Emily the very first day I rolled in there. When I rolled my suitcase in, Emily was actually the nurse who was admitting me, uh, so she was like the first person I saw in this room that was going to be my home for like a month or so. We just, you know, got to talking. I was taking care of him, asking him things about himself and his life, and I met his parents there because they were yeah. with him um, but I took care of him for a few days um, and so we got kind of got to know each other and we just realized that we had a lot in common. I saw her a couple times like I had appointments and we would like go get like a coffee and she would kind of catch up and then eventually kind of down the road I, I got stronger to just go on my own and we actually got to like kind of go on a first date type thing just the two of us walking around Chicago about two months after I was discharged. A couple weeks later, I was in the hospital for another transplant, and this time she wasn't my nurse, this time she was just coming to visit me as yeah. my fiance. Um, so we did another month there, and then I was out right before Christmas. And then from there, we basically started planning the wedding, and we pushed it out kind of far enough in advance that I would be healthy and, and everything would be good for a wedding after that. And that's why we chose March of this year, actually last weekend, uh, or no, two days ago, what, Saturday? Mm -hmm. And then the coronavirus came and decided to cancel that. <laughs> aunts and uncles and our grandparents, we just didn't want them to be, you know, I think both of our grandparents would have been flying for the first time in years, like a long time, and we didn't want them going on an airplane, going through LAX, kind of getting exposed in a lot of these ways. And I'm an immunocompromised person myself, so we were also abundantly cautious about just myself. You want to be hugging your family members, you want to be having a really good time, and, you know, to be under the circumstances of, like, everyone kind of staying their distance and shaking, you know, even shaking hands, you couldn't really do so. We are happy and grateful to be healthy and together. And there have been times in our lives where we were not able to be healthy and together. So we would rather be healthy and together uh, and still waiting to be married, even though we would love to be married right now. For now, we're dealing with it and staying home seems to be the best way. So spend time with your loved ones at home. <laughs>